Hey everyone, it's me, Isabella, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys, well, like sharing some tips with you guys about how to work in a group because for me, I feel like working in a group is sometimes can be really stressful because, you know, your teacher, your professor, they put you in groups with people that you don't really know. So you don't really know like what the other people's like, what their work ethics are or like how they are kind of like as a person because you haven't really like, communicated with them. So that can be some, you know, sometimes quite a challenge. So hopefully these tips will help you out and yeah, so let's get started. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to um, kind of like define roles. Like if someone in your group, like say you're working on a poster and someone has like really good handwriting, then they can be assigned to be writing down all the information that you need. And then for um, if like you need pictures and you can have someone to um, draw them for you on the poster board. Like, just make sure that, like, you kind of, like, assign, like, a task to each person. Like, make sure they all have, like, a role. Like, they know what to do because when everyone knows what they're doing, then, you know, the process of, like, completing the project or, like, being, like, working together in the group goes, like, much faster and smoother. Like, it's just, like, an easier process. So when you go to, like, turn in, like, whatever work that you were assigned as a group, you know, you can kind of, like, feel comfortable that, you're, you know, you're going to get a good grade on it and, you know, you worked really well with your partners now another tip i have is to like i know like yes i know like not everyone wants to do it but to like communicate when you like if you have people like if you like two more people in your group that you don't really know you don't really talk to them you know they're in your class like you know their name but you never really like talk to them before like make sure you communicate with them you know tell them what your ideas are um what your plans are sorry ideas tell them what you um think like what you think is like best to do you know just kind of like share your thoughts and ideas because then they will feel comfortable with you too to start like talking and start like kind of brainstorming as well and it will help the whole process of you know being in a group easier because you know not everyone likes being in a group you know sometimes I myself like to work alone better like I don't know like I get stuff like done when I'm like by myself more you know because you're not really depending on like anyone else to um you know help you out on it but you know when you all have effective communication, then you're all getting the work done at the same time. You're getting it done on time, so then, you know, it won't, like, harm your grade. So, the last tip I have for you guys on how to work in a group is to um, definitely, like, have a plan. Like, before you even start your project or whatever, like, you're working on, make sure you plan everything out. You know, you plan out all the information that you need to gather, like, any, like, data or, like, any pictures or, like, any important, like, key concepts or like anything like that that you need down you know make sure you have all the requirements before you like you know go to do anything else because if you don't have a plan for working in a group then you know no one really knows what's to do so that kind of goes back into like you know the roles and the communication so yeah so those two tips i feel like are the most helpful and they really helped out me a lot and i hope they will help out you guys too so yeah so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye